mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels and welcome to the last piece of tea of the day. Girl, today it was short but full of substance. Substance? Substantious? Latino woman, guys, you know what I mean. Anyways, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rolls. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, ooh, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, stay still. What is going on? Okay, so um, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rules because there has been these rumors going around about Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney getting divorced. We did a whole video about it, right? Uh, Katie has been posting these cryptic messages about divorce and supporting Kim Kardashian's divorce and songs about divorce. So everyone is like, oh my gosh, she's thinking about divorce, Tom Schwartz. Uh, you know, I'm still thinking that that's not true. I don't think that they are. I think their relationship actually works in a weird, twisted way because I kind of feel represented on that relationship. Um, but you never know with this uh, Bravo things, right? Well, now we have Tom Sandoval inserting himself into the conversation somehow. So Tom Sandoval uh, throw a party for the season finale, not the, the season finale, yes, of Euphoria. And a bunch of people were a Tom Tom, like a bunch of people from Euphoria, the whole cast of Veteran from Rules, Stassi, uh, a bunch of people were, were there, okay? But one person that was not there apparently was Katie. Okay, now, we move on into Tom Sandoval um, posting. Let me just read you this, guys. It says, Tom Sandoval just fueled the swirling rumors regarding a potential split between Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz. Last week, while celebrating the season finale of Euphoria with friends, the Vanderpump Rolls cast members and musicians share a series of photos, one of which include a very telly frame image that Ka Katie was noticeably, noticeably absent from, and that got the attention of plenty of curious fans. Along with Sandoval's slide show, on which the comments have since been listed as limit, he shared a photo of himself holding an edit frame image that include himself and Schwartz, as well as Lisa Vanderpump and Ariana Maddox. As fans of Euphoria may know, the image was originally of the Jacob family. However, in Sandoval's post, he changed all of the faces aside from one, seemingly purposely leaving Katie out of the mix. So that picture right there got everyone thinking about it. You know, everyone saying, like, why she's not there? What is going on? Uh, look, I don't know if it's reaching too hard, okay? But it could be a big storyline for the next season of Vanderpump Rules, okay? A lot of people have been sending this negative energy towards Katie and Tom Schwartz for years. They say that they don't belong together. Um, I really are like on both sides. Sometimes I think that they're going to work out, but sometimes I feel that they are so different that I don't know if it's actually going to work out. But then I see scenes where they their love is like so pure, you know, that it's like, I feel that that's what a relationship might be all about, you know? So anyways, I have no idea, but... They have been going through uh, these rumors, and it will be a great storyline. Imagine Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney going into like real, real marital uh, problems. Maybe even getting like separate or divorced. Maybe not divorced, but imagine getting separate for like a season. That could be something that it could you know, bring attention to the show. Again, it is not a surprise that past season, I mean, it wasn't the worst one because I actually really enjoy it, but, you know, rating-wise, it wasn't, like, the best one either. Um, 
but it's kind of like going there. So they definitely try to reach for new storylines of what is going to happen next, you know? Uh, like no one was, no one saw the whole engagement between uh, James Kennedy and Raquel actually being over. That was a surprise right there. So imagine now having this, it could like really change things up for the Vanderbilt Rose cast. Now the whole picture, I mean, you also know that Tom Sandoval doesn't have a good relationship with Katie Maloney, or, or, or that's what it is portrayed because Tom Schwartz have actually said on several occasions that actually Tom Sandoval and Katie have like a very deep relationship that they, it has been going for many, many years, even before the show, and that they are like brother and sister. So, I mean, I don't know, but it's Tom Sandoval being just petty and leaving Katie outside of the picture, or maybe she's he's being like, I'm gonna, of course, stand up for my best friend, Tom Schwartz, and if this bitch is leaving, then I'm gonna leave her out as well. Anything is possible at this moment, you know, and when it comes to storylines, anything is possible because they're gonna start filming pretty soon, you know, they usually start filming around May, May, June. So that's around the corner. It's already March. So they really need to start fueling these storylines to see what is going to be interesting next. Because if they don't put anything out there soon, the show is going to die. Look at what's happening to Southern Charm. You know, we haven't really heard anything from Southern Charm in a very long time. So if we if, if they don't put these storylines to keep us interest, people are just going to be like, oh, all right, that show. You know what I mean? So anyways, it is a possibility. Do I think that they're going to get divorced? Honestly, till today, I do not think that they're going to get divorced. But you never know. Reality show has ended up so many marriages that anything is possible. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole situation. Do you think that Tom did it on purpose? Do you think that Tom is actually hitting to something truth? Let me know, guys. And if this is your first video of the day, I highly recommend you guys to go and rewatch all of the videos because it was they were like very juicy. Okay, we talk about Lisa Rena, like being vile and a horrible person again. We talk about Melissa Gorga trying to defend herself for not having a storyline, and the most important one is that Meredith Marks from the Real Houses of Salt Lake City came directly at me. And we have a little conversation and we, I'm sharing that with you. So go and rewatch all of those videos. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. You can find me as Real Andy BH across the universe. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. Everywhere as Real Andy BH. And if you have a little bit of time, go and subscribe to my other YouTube channel. It's called The Real Real Andy, where we get close and personal. I just dropped my travel blog from Venice, Italy the other day. So if you want to watch that, go and subscribe The Real Real Andy. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for another day full of tea. See ya. Bye.